What's up guys, it's Donath Outdoors and today we're going to show you guys what our family likes to do every year with our turkey breast. Uh, we always fry them up into some turkey nuggets, okay? It tastes just like chicken nuggets. You guys like them? Yeah. It tastes pretty good, okay? So today we're going to show you our little recipe. It's really simple and you kind of make it your own. We look forward to it every single year. It makes these uh, wild turkey just taste awesome. Let's get to it. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button! Hey guys, I like to soak my turkey breast in some buttermilk. It has certain compounds in it that will actually break down and make that meat a little bit softer and a lot more tender and flavorful. Another thing that you can use is pickle juice if you don't have buttermilk in your fridge. So you can do this before or after the buttermilk soak. It's probably better to do it uh, before. But you're going to want to slice it across the grain into strips. And then you're going to want to chunk it into bite-sized pieces about the size of a chicken McNugget. The smaller pieces that you make, the more crunchy it's going to be. So all we do for the breading is we put a couple scoops of flour into a shaker. And to that flour, we're just going to add our seasonings. I like to have garlic salt, some onion powder, black pepper, and some Himalayan pink salt. Right here, guys, you can kind of make it your own. Just do whatever you like. If you want a little bit more spicy, you can add some chili powder to it. Just whatever kind of unique flavor that you like. If it tastes good on a chicken nugget or a fried chicken, it's going to taste good here. Now just add your meat chunks to the shaker. You want to make sure not to put too much in there at the same time. And just shake it a little bit, give it a good shake for a couple, couple minutes. Alright, so you can use whatever kind of oil you like. I prefer peanut oil, it's been the best in my experience. And this is important guys, you want the oil to be around 325 to 350 degrees. Once you reach that temperature range, about 325 to 350 degrees, you're ready to fry. You're going to know they're done when they turn a nice golden brown and they're going to start to float at the top of that oil. These are usually served best piping hot and the kids absolutely love them. We usually never have any leftovers. If you prefer sauce on your nuggets, just put them in a bowl after they've cooled a bit. And you can use honey barbecue or some kind of uh, buffalo wing sauce. And they taste just like a famous restaurant that we all know and love. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope that you can fill your freezer with plenty of wild game.